Turn. Turn that way. Turn. Walk that way. There you go. Left. Yep. Right break. Walk backwards. Walk backwards. There you go. Get her stable. Left break. Left break. Turn and go. Turn and go. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Nail it. Stand up. Lean backwards. There you go. Nice job. Weight shift. Right over here, directly above the cliffs, Troy. So right over here, just ease off your motor, go to idle, and stay right above these cliffs where I am. Nice job. Now we just need you in front of me where I can get some pictures. A little to your right, Troy. Get out in front of the cliffs. Hands up. Fly forwards. I love my boy. This is cool, huh? Three flat tops with our dominators. The great thing about a dominator is it's extremely efficient. So even in the extra, 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 extra small size, Troy's flying. We're having no problem soaring. I'm on the extra, extra small, and Tyler at 250 pounds, he's on the extra small, the 1X. And we are just soaring these ridges. This is awesome. This is what's so cool about flying a flat top and a dominator. See if that sun comes back out. Maybe we'll get a nice sunset or something. Wow, this ridge just goes on forever. This is cool. Dominators, baby. One, two, three. So we got flat top ninjas and dominators and troys at 150 pounds. He's on the extra, 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 extra small dominator, which is just 16 square meter. And check him out soaring. The, uh, and then I am on the extra, extra small. I'm about 185 pounds right now. And then Tyler's 250, and he is on the 1X, which is basically 21 square meter. So dominator, dominator. And you, you can see all of us are soaring extremely well. No problemo. There's a couple parts to it. For one, you need to have the speed be able to outrun the wind. If you don't have a fast enough glider, you can't 
soar in strong conditions like this where you got stronger winds. Uh, so you need a very fast wing, but you also need a very efficient wing so that you can make the most of the lift. So the Dominator has just under a 10 to 1 glide ratio. Very, very efficient. And, of course, you have the highest level of safety, so you're not worried as much if you get into some crazy, wild, funky air. It's no big deal on a Dominator, where if you're on a glider that's an uncertified class glider, then that is a huge issue. So you got big factors. You got the performance of the speed. You also have that glide ratio, and you also have the safety. And you need to have all three. And then, of course, the handling is extremely nice as well so that you can get in among the cliffs and be able to have really precise control so you can stay exactly where you want to be within inches of specifics. So very, very cool. We have ridge soared for about five, six miles now, maybe. Just cooking along with all of our engines at idle. And booyah. Super cool. Oh, it looks like the sun's coming out. Ooh, Troy, the sun's coming out. Bring it on back over, and I'll get some pictures. So see if you can just get in front of me here. Man, this is super cool, huh, Troy? I want to soar all the way to the other end. Dominators, baby! If we didn't have these smaller dominators, we wouldn't have the speed to penetrate the wind. I mean, if you whipped out some huge, gigantic 28 square meter glider, you'd be flying backwards and you wouldn't be able to stay along the ridge. So the fact that we have the really small gliders uh, is important that we have those dominators for the speed. But also, even though they're really small, they're super efficient. So we also have that glide ratio to be able to just soar completely with our engines at idle. It's awesome. The props are just kind of whirlwind and in the wind. That's my boy, 13-year-old Super Troy. I love catching the lift like this off these mountains and just soaring.
Oh! Diving in over the ridge. Look at that. <laughs> this is awesome! Flat top paramotor flying! Look at that flag! Up here it seems peaceful as can be, but when you look at that flag you realize just how fast these dominators are. That wind is nuking! This Dominator Extra Extra Small is the wing that I used to set the world speed record at 51 miles an hour. So it has some serious speed. So we're flying along all nice and easy. And then you see that flag just whipping around. Shows just how much wind there is. These dominators can really kick through the wind. It's pretty incredible what kind of conditions that we can deal with. That's Troy singing the national anthem there. Whoa. Yeehaw. We should get a picture of you in front of the flag, Troy. Ridge soaring on the extra, extra small dominator. Boorah! This dominator rules! Extra, extra small! That means I have the speed to cut through the wind, but it's so efficient, I got the lift to stay up. See how slow I'm going? <laughs> that means if you had a slower glider, you would be going backwards. Or in other words, you would definitely not want to fly today. But with an extra, extra small dominator, no problemo. Also keep in mind, I am not accelerated. So I have a huge acceleration. I can accelerate about 17 miles an hour from the speed that I'm going. So even though I'm not going very fast now, I have a lot of speed in reserve that I'm not using yet. So Dominator, baby, allows us to go out and just fly in just about anywhere, anytime, whenever the heck we want. With that much wind today, you just would not have launched other gear. You would not be flying. I mean, that, you don't see any other pilots flying. It's just the way it goes. If you don't have the good gear, you don't fly, period. So most people are all scared because... Well, realistically, they should be if they don't have a flat top and a dominator and super skills. So three different parts to that. You got to have the super skills to be able to deal with the higher speeds and the better maneuverability and the higher performance. But then you also need the, uh, the speed to be able to cut through the wind. Seriously, the coolest thing ever. Look at this. They're flying like right down the street. What in the world are they doing? It's probably foot dragging right down the road. And I am still soaring Molly's nipple. Nipple. Look at this. 
I have so much lift. I can't get down. <laughs> this is awesome. Boora. That's it. Dominator, baby. Look at his lift. This is just awesome. I can float around. Uh, and just using the, the ridge lift coming up this ridge here. That is just too cool. Okay, I better go link up with my buddies before it gets dark. Got my son Troy out there flying. We were all soaring. Literally, you would not be able to soar today if you did not have that specific skill set. So the ability to fly. Troy's on a 16 square meter wing. 250 pound Tyler is on a 21 square meter wing. So you have to have the skills to be able to deal with the higher speeds and higher performance, but then you also have to have that performance so that you can fly in stronger conditions. So here I am. Notice I'm literally not moving at all. I'm hovering and then I accelerate and I can accelerate out forwards in front. So I start flying. That's just partial acceleration, just letting the trims up. If I hit full acceleration, I'll add, uh, it, it's about 17 miles an hour. You get about six miles an hour from the trims, another 11 miles an hour from the speed bar. Oh yeah. Ready, Troy? Here, ball it up. Super Troy! Dad. That was awesome, huh? Yeah, Dad, that landing you just did right there was the landing I did. Oh, here, grab it, just ball it up real quick. There you go. Got it. Go for it. Yep. Baller up. Baller up. That's my boy. Yeah, that guy right there is a fan of yours. Awesome. That was awesome, huh? Do I need your autograph? Ha, 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 ha. talking about that. I'm a wannabe for like two years now. Oh, got it. Yeah, I saw you hiding off in the Caribbean, and you picked your wife up, and I, you know, I just kind of, I just started watching again last night. In fact, yeah. After my brother, I contacted him seen for a while. He lives up in Eagle Mountain, not far from where. Oh, okay. You are. In fact, yeah. I think probably four years ago, I think you went down to Saratoga Springs and took off from this marina. Yep. I think that's where one of your videos where you jump off, take off, come back and land in all, you unpack, yeah. you take off, land in like, I don't know. Four, four minutes. minutes. Yeah, four minutes. Yeah. 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 And then there's another one where I do the same thing in three minutes. I hope I'm not going to be on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, I think it's awesome though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'd love to. I'm 65 and some people say that's getting too old, but, and I want a foot line. No, you just got to learn properly. Hey. The, we'll only put you up if you got the skills, so it's just a matter of working up to the skills. I've been How come you listening to your logic, your reasoning. <laughs> I agree with it. I like it. And yeah. I think that what, what, what I, the little I know, what I've watched that kiting is the most important thing. Yeah, but kiting correctly. Because there's people that kite, but they do it wrong, and so they don't know what the heck they're doing. And so it's not just kiting. I was lucky. I was driving along, taking a little break and saw here I am. Out there, got my binoculars out. Hey, these guys are <laughs> foot launchers. The, the other guys I I know yep. they're, they're trikes. Uh, they're like parachutes, trikes. powered parachutes. Uh, no, they're they're wing 
didn't say they, they got trikes. There's, uh, oh, oh, the other guys. The uh, guys that live there. And, uh, yeah, there's Travis and uh, like Tyler and stuff like that. Yeah. Taylor, Taylor. The I trained them down in Mexico a bit ago. So. Oh, that's awesome. But, I've seen all your. Uh, most of you. It's a lot of videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like 750 Your something. Son's grown up. That's From my boy. First started. Yeah. First one I observed. This is my younger son. My other son set the record at the age 10. So, oh, is that right? Yeah, it was my other son that started at 10 years old. He actually just started at 12 years old, and he's only 13, so he just started a year or so ago. Oh, so but, he seems to but he's been now. kiting a long time. Well, I consider myself lucky to yeah. find you here. Yeah, I would, <laughs> I would like to take lessons. It's fun stuff. I live here. I just moved here. I've been here about eight months down here behind San Paulo. This is an awesome spot, holy cow. Once you get up there, you catch that ridge, you can soar as far as that ridge goes with no motor. So, but we just get up there with the motor and then, you know, if the wind shuts off or something, you lose lift, well, you got a motor, you fly away. Yeah. So. It's nice to have both because you got a glider and a motor. So I've never seen a flat top in person. Oh, well.